I think we'll start this out with an example. You the filter chain is you're going to have a pass. I'm a bit loud. You grab by the function. Qualifier. Yeah, right. We might be wrong. We're funny, but not always a pass. Welcome to another frigid day at Sitecar. For some damn reason, we have been uh, for some damn reason our behavior is being maintained with, by recording videos in the cold. I would actually prefer that that would get extinguished, which is kind of what we're here to talk about today. Hey, jeez, it's cold. No, anyway, I'm joking just a little bit, but not too much. Um, extinction. <laughs> what? I, I I struggle with making this video long. <laughs> All right, because. I think there's a lot of verbal behavior about this video that just or about this topic that could be boiled down to a couple of really simple things, and I, I think it's covered pretty well in most chapters and, mo and most texts out there. But I, we're obviously we're going to go over it here. So the first things first: extinction. What the hell is it? It's wow. I'm getting salty today. Sorry. Must be the whole extinction thing. Um, let's see. It, it, it's it's the withholding of reinforcement, <laughs> right? It's the it's that simple, folks. Your, a behavior is happening. It's normally maintained by a reinforcer. Get rid of the reinforcer. Make it gone. Go away. Right? Um, and then you, uh, then the organism, the behavior is on extinction. Right? It's really that simple. Now you're going to hear all sorts of stuff. Procedural extinction. Just ignore it and they'll go away. Functional extinction. That's what we're going to focus on, folks. Functional extinction. I don't care about other... That's kind of cool. <laughs> that's, some, that's an extinction burst, I think, uh, because that's a... That's an old ass fire extinguisher coming through the wow. Anyway, so cool. Anyway, this is a pretty cool like environment. I wish we could get in. Um, so, so procedural versus functional extinction. We're going to focus on functional extinction because, to be completely honest with you, I never thought that procedural extinction was a thing. <laughs> I always thought that you had to know what the reinforcer was for the behavior in order to put it on extinction, which you do. Right, but of course that's kind of a new thing with the functional behavior analysis or FBA type stuff. Kind of new, right? Older than me, probably. Um, so, if we know it's maintaining a behavior and we remove the reinforcer for that behavior, behavior is going to start to decrease. Okay, it's not fast, it's not instant, but behavior will decrease, which is the functional form of extinction, right? Why do we call it functional versus procedural? Because procedural, you really start to think about, well, how do you do extinction? Well, you do extinction based on what you know about the behavior, and that would be what you know is reinforcing the response, okay? So you have to know that first before you can possibly be successful with extinction. So let's get into a couple of things that extinction isn't. Extinction is not a general, just a general, any general decrease in behavior. Okay? Behavior decreases for all sorts of reasons. The organism could be tired. The organism could be on punishment. There are all sorts of things, but that's not extinction. Extinction is the removal of reinforcement for a particular behavior that results in the reduction of that behavior. Okay? So that is extinction. It is not just behavior decreasing. Okay? So don't confuse those. Another thing that it's not, it is not response blocking. Okay? So if somebody walked up and jammed a bunch of cotton in my mouth right now, like, I wouldn't be able to talk. That, that, that's not extinction. That's response blocking. Okay? Pretty obvious, right? I can't perform the response, therefore, um, I can't possibly achieve the reinforcer, which means you can't possibly withhold the reinforcer, which means it's not extinction. Um, let's see. So that, that, that becomes an issue when you start to think about sensory um, extinction and when you start to think about... Um, automatically reinforce behaviors, which we'll come back to in a little bit. So, or maybe another video, I don't know. Um, let's see, it's not that, it's not that. What else is it not? It is not forgetting, all right? Um, so it's not forgetting, and, and forgetting is a really interesting thing because we're gonna tie in some extinction with time and all that stuff over time in another video here, but forgetting is basically not performing a response over, or not giving an getting an opportunity to perform a response over a given period of time. Again, it's different than withholding the reinforcement when the response is delivered. The other one is kind of cool. The other thing. Ah. Ah. I thought that was snow. It's not. It's ice. <laughs> All right. Here's another one. Let's. I need chunks. All right. That was bleedy. All right. So, and the other thing that is not is non-contingent reinforcement. Assume these chunks of cold things, ice-ish, snow, are reinforcers, right? Here's non-contingent reinforcement. We're just going to sprinkle them in as long as uh, just kind of on a time, fi uh, time schedule or some type of schedule. We're just going to sprinkle them in. 
Those things were reinforcers. We're sprinkling them out there. We're delivering them. We're just not delivering them contingent upon a behavior. Don't let my mom see this video. Wiping my hands on my pants, still 42 years old. Anyway, um, that behavior surely didn't get extinguished. <sighs> Sorry, mom. Um, so, sprinkling reinforcers non-contingently, non just so not extinction, it's not funny, all right? It's just not even the same thing because um, you're not withholding a reinforcer contingent upon a behavior. So if you're delivering reinforcers, you get my point? Don't get those confused. That just makes you look like a fool, all right? Um, anyway, let's see. Let's move on to two other types or two, th two things you should know about. Um, This is not extinction, this is just forgetting. <laughs> extinction of positive reinforcement, um, or positively reinforced behavior. This is the one that everybody thinks about when they think about extinction. Wow, little Billy's engaging in behavior. Ah, screw it, Ryan's engaging in particular walking behavior. So we are not going to reinforce him. How are we not going to reinforce him? We are going to put the camera away. We're not gonna film him, or something to that effect, right? We're gonna remove the reinforcer for the behavior, okay? So, which is all well and good when you're thinking about positively reinforced behavior because a reinforce a behavior is delivered or the stimulus is delivered to maintain a response we can just keep that stimulus at bay we just don't have to deliver that stimulus the key here is making sure you have control over the reinforcer don't forget that that's like a number one important thing if you have done your fba and you find out what's reinforcing the behavior and you go yep i can actually manage that particular stimulus then you can probably pull off extinction if you can't manage it then you probably can't pull off extinction um, let's see, negatively reinforced behavior. Now this is a complete bugger, right? Because how do you extinguish a behavior that is maintained by a lack of delivery of something or escape of something or th something like that? That's a challenge. You have to make sure again that you have control over the situation and that you can prevent the escape from happening if the, if the behavior is escape maintained. So. Neg extinction of negative reinforced behavior is extremely challenging and I think you're going to find that that's one of the more difficult things that you encounter when you're out there in the field but it is something that can be done um I suppose should we get into the automatic yeah behavior that's automatically reinforced is another one um uh, this is kind of tricky because this tends to cause problems for people in understanding what how to pull off an extinction procedure here all right so I um I'm going to go into a little side discussion here, and it's about cigarette smoking. So people go, well, why don't you just extinguish cigarette smoking? You can't. All right. Well, I suppose you probably can, but it's very, very difficult. Why? Because the nicotine is automatically delivered. <sighs> Automatic. I can't stop that nicotine. I can't engage in the smoking behavior and prevent the nicotine from being delivered into my system. Okay. So it's automatically reinforced. So we have to do something to prevent that automatically uh, to prevent that reinforcer from being delivered. So I'm going to stop with the smoking example because I don't want to get into drugs and all the other excuse me all the chemicals that you may have to do in order to to prevent the nicotine from being absorbed into your system. Just not something I'm going to talk about right now. So uh, what you could do with other behaviors that's automatically reinforced maybe Maybe this is reinforcing, right? But maybe it's not the feeling on my chest. Maybe it's the feeling in my fingers that sends t tends to be reinforcing, automatically reinforcing. I could put a really thick glove on and then I could just, I could scrape, all right, which is a type of sensory extinction. But so I'm engaging in the scraping behavior or scratching behavior, but the sensory is not the sense, the, the stimulus is not like getting delivered. It's being withheld from the tips of my fingers by the glove. Totally different than response blocking. Response blocking would be if I had some sort of device that prevented me from being able to scratch. I can't get it it's like because I'm getting too fat. My suit doesn't fit anymore. So there you go. Response blocking. I can't, I can't make it. All right. That's not extinction. That's totally different. Right? Why is that different? Because response blocking is the prevention of the response from occurring or completing. Right. If you prevent the response from completing, there's no reinforcer to deliver. Therefore, you can't possibly withhold the reinforcer. Therefore, it can't possibly be extinction. All right, I think that's enough on the beginnings of extinction. We're going to come back and talk about more extinction after I warm myself up a little bit because it's really cold. Bye. So, did you like that behavior and video? Behavior and video analysis. Video, video, did you like that video and behavior analysis? If you did, then like, subscribe, share, please. Please.